So today we're going to be blocking a needle point canvas. This is typically done by the finisher before they finish your canvas into your pillow, your ornament, um, whatever it is that you're making. But for those of you who are brave enough to do self finishing at home, you're going to want to make sure to do blocking before you finish your canvas. So in order to block, there's a few things that you need. You obviously need your needle point canvas. You're going to need a pair of scissors, some pins, um, a cotton t-shirt or a linen napkin or something like that you don't mind getting soaking wet and an iron that you can steam with. So I bought this cute little mini iron and um, but any at home iron works. You're also going to need some sort of ironing board or this um, this is a wool mat that I found on Amazon. So. I'm gonna move everything out of the way so that we can get started. The first thing that we're going to be doing is trimming the back of the needle point. So you're gonna to wanna to trim off all the excess threads. Okay. You can see here that the canvas is slightly distorted. This one's not so bad, but you can see that it's kind of angled on the sides here. That happens when you are stitching. Um, it's really normal. Even if you're using a frame, it happens. So don't worry so much about that. Um, the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna turn our needle point over. You can see the distortion a little more on the back side. So we're gonna turn our needle point over and you're gonna take, whether it was your cotton t-shirt or your linen napkin, and you're gonna drench it in water. I have a soaking wet t-shirt here and then you lay it over the back side of your canvas. I know it's scary to put water to a needle point but that's what you do. I like to kind of roll it back so that I'm only working with one layer um, like so. And then you're going to take your iron and you're just going to start steaming. kind of want to like pull it into shape you can already see how much straighter that looks and if you look at it on the back you can see how much straighter that looks already um, so I'm just gonna do it once more just to make sure that it, we really get it straight <music> pull it into shape. You don't want to pull too hard. Um, you just want to make sure that you're getting it straight like so. Like that. And then I like to turn my mat over. If you're working with an ironing board, you can just put it at the other end. And then you're going to take pins and I just literally stick the pins in so that it's being held straight. And like taut. Like so. And that's basically it. And then you leave it for 12 to 24 hours until it's dry. Um, once it's a little more dry, you can hang it up um, like on a clip hanger and that's it. And then you are ready to do your finishing.